Hey, what's up guys? Camp and Russia here. Welcome back everybody to another Fortnite video. Today we discuss some NHL Fortnite collaboration. We discuss 12.6, which should be coming out tomorrow. At least that would be for me. So it'd be Tuesday morning Eastern or Wednesday morning Eastern based on uh, previous weeks, right? I'm hoping it's tomorrow. Of course, I'll be up making at least two or three videos on all the new stuff that comes in this big update uh, within hours of this thing go, uh, launching. So I'll remind you early today, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We've got that number down to 42% of you guys who watch these videos are not subscribed. That's still a big number, but thanks everybody for hitting the sub button recently. Uh, I do notice and I do appreciate it. First bit of news today is Benji Fishy once again got first place. First place today and also overall in FNCS Invitation week two fifty thousand dollars let's go and oh my god man this this guy's too much <laughs> he's too much uh he's gonna have a video out later today i know he is he's one one Fortnite guy that i watch every video he's the best player in the world honestly i i i think he the more he wins the more he just makes that obvious to everybody uh not only who he competes with but just the, the guys like me who, who just love to watch him he is insane Congrats to him. Now, regarding 12.6, it'll either be Tuesday morning at 2 a.m. Eastern or Wednesday morning based on the past. And one thing we know so far is from Fire Monkey here, a few updates ago, a shadow version for the agency was added. Considering he hasn't swapped a shadow yet, this is either a red hearing, herring or will happen sometime during 12.6. Some slight changes such as the ghost statue can be seen removed from the shadow version. And I've showed you some photos. We had discussed this when it first came out in the files uh, a while back. And then on top of that, the reason the top half is missing is because it still uses the old version of the agency. As from what I can tell, it doesn't really have any references to ghost except for a flag. Here is the ghost statue as well that will be removed when shadow takes over the agency. So. That's just a bunch of info. That's going to be one of the major map changes either happening right away with 12.6. Let's just say tomorrow. We're just going to guess tomorrow. Uh, and, and again, I'll make a video tomorrow updating you on the official time once we know if it's hopefully announced right tomorrow afternoon-ish. But yeah, so that's one of the big changes. There, there's obviously going to be more. It could come out later in the week. It could come out right away. Uh, we'll find out. Some other things that are happening in game, some teasers for the Doomsday event is uh, Fort Tory. More Doomsday cables are now visible in the Battle Pass menu. So we have seen uh, kind of the different stages of this already in the files, but it's actually happening in game now. So I feel I feel like we're on like stage two ish, depending on how you look at it. Basically, it's there's been some cables and now there's been more added, and we know there's going to be a glowing effect added to some of these things soon. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll sit and wait again. Hopefully, some indication of the Doomsday event, maybe a time release date, uh, and then a little bit of how it'll work or some type of theme for it would be nice for uh, 12.6 in the files. But they've gotten really good at encrypting all the event files. But it'd be nice to know when it's happening. I think that's something we can hope for with the new update as well. Uh, a concept here that's based on a conversation we've seen between the uh, creative director at Epic Games, Donald Mustard. And I think one of the Russo brothers, I don't know if it was Russo, he talked with someone who was involved in the extraction movie, we discussed it, but uh, Tyler Rake, Chris Hemsworth. So there's a big chance that this game, this game could actually come to the game because the tweet conversation basically from my memory went uh, like we need to get Tyler Rake in the game so that he can take on John Wick, right? Just a little joke, but then they both actually agreed to it on Twitter. Uh, so this guy here, Arrow Psych, made a, uh, a concept for it. And this is kind of what it could look like if they do bring it to the game. And again, any type of uh, collaboration I am always a fan of no matter what. Uh, so I hope it comes at some point. I haven't actually seen the movie. For those who have, was it a good one? I think my mom's watched it and she loved it. So <laughs> I, uh, I gotta give it a look. Sweet Vacation here on Reddit mentioned, what if this whole time Truckosaurus was just teasing season three? And the reason he says that is because he has been underneath the water. I don't actually know where this is on the map, but uh, he has been underneath the water for a very, very long time. I think all of this chapter, uh, at least for this season. And again, the point is underwater theme. That's what we all think. I want to I just want some type of reveal. I know we've basically had confirmation with the season three teaser posters, but I really want to see in 12.6 some type of big confirmation that this is happening. Uh, and again, they did give us the teaser posters with 12.5, so maybe we'll get even more with 12.6. Last time we learned about the shark, 
and then there was the floating salty springs house uh that's a lot of info maybe they'll continue that trend i wouldn't mind standard skill cup eu only register to join in with the community cup you'll be matched against other players other console players in this two-hour event after you register this event will appear in your uh, compete tab in game so this is for console eu only i'll link it down below for those who uh who play there that you can check it out and sign up but here is how it's going to work. Looks like they're testing another type of format. They've been playing with formats a lot, even throughout the FNCS Invitational as well, right? Uh, a lot more points seem to be weighted on kills, and then you get score as you go through the match. Uh, and you can see here, this one is top 90, top 80, top 70. Basically, every 10 players that are eliminated and you survive, you get an extra three points. However, uh, an elimination is also worth two points. So this one's kind of right in between. It rewards, uh, I'd say it rewards them fairly equally, but kills are still worth a good amount. You don't want to not be killing. Uh, and they seem to be weighting kills a little bit more heavily uh, in these recent test scoring formats than they have in the past. So I want to, I'm excited to see how they'll kind of where they'll end up for a little bit long, more long term as they do seem to be all over the place. Uh, and you, you were seeing certain players thrive in this new format uh, i.e benji fishy right the w key format uh some guys are just better better at it than others and honestly if i was still playing a bunch of competitive i would not do to do too well in the w key format i got all my points from placement and and tunneling and and smart rotations other you need a lot of mechanics to, <laughs> to be able to constantly w key and win so i find it even more impressive to me uh, to be this outstanding in this format. I don't, let me know your thoughts on that. What do you think about uh, the formats? And and uh, as a player, what would you be more, more rewarded as uh, if you're a pro player? Even if you're not there, where, where do you think you find your most success? Placement or kills? From Shy Guy here on Reddit, I thought this was a good little uh, collage of things and just something to know. All the Battle Royale items you can get for free from buying Save the World. It also includes 30 plus banners. But yeah, there's a lot, man. There's a lot more than I thought. I uh, I am not a Save the World player. I'm sure I have some Save the World players watching, so you knew this. But a lot of us don't know. There are a lot of free items you can get uh, for... Of course, you got to purchase Save the World. That's part of it. But if you're wanting to try it out and play it anyways, here's a bunch of the stuff you can be rewarded with for doing so. And this one, as a fellow Canadian, this one gets me hyped up, ladies and gentlemen. The NHLPA, the Players Associate Association here, is proud to announce the NHLPA Open featuring Fortnite. Over 60 players will unite May 18th, so tomorrow as trios to compete for $200,000 in charity pricing. So we've never seen this, an NHL times Fortnite collab. Now there's no skins confirmed yet, but they better give us some skins, man. These things will sell like crazy. Hook us up, man, hook us up. Who out there is a big, uh, NHL is uh, my favorite sport by far. Uh, I guess hockey, NHL is not really a sport, but hockey is my favorite sport. Uh, and uh, I was watching a lot of hockey before all the, the virus shut it down and everything. Uh, big Canucks fan, got to be honest with you. And uh, so this just gets me excited. So a little bit more info. So I'm, I'm hoping for skins. They're not confirmed yet, but this is a huge collab and it kind of lines up with the 12.6 update. So I'm thinking there's a chance we get skins. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, but some other things we know about it. It's a three hour live stream, two to 5 p.m. Eastern. Again, tomorrow, Monday, May 18th. And uh, they'll be, so here are some of the players that are, are announced yet. Nathan McKinnon, Matt Nieto, Sebastian Ajo, Thomas Chabat, Johnny Goudreau, William Carlson, Clayton Keller, Travis Konecki, Konecki Mitch Barner, Brian Russ, and Alex Tuck. So a lot of big names there, a lot of big names there. And uh, I want to, I'll definitely be watching. I want to see what some of these guys perform in the world of Fortnite, right? They're obviously uh, magicians, artists on the ice, but can they do it? Can they do it in the Fortnite map? We'll find out. Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to be watching that tomorrow. What is it? 2 p.m. Eastern. So uh, I'm sure we'll we'll all be watching tomorrow. And again, keep your fingers crossed. Hopefully we get some skins. Last thing I got here, this is kind of a big one. And this is from that Denver guy. He noticed something. And the plot thickens for season three. 
What if Midas' doomsday device accidentally turns everything gold and according to the original story of King Midas, the only right way to reverse it is with water? Definitely explains why Tabor and his source say water could be the theme. And basically the, the screenshot here is a, is a photo or just a, a bunch of text relating to what he just said. He just explained it. And uh, to solve the, the gold pr problem, you need to be uh, washed away in water to reverse the touch. So even this is a huge, not confirmation, but huge uh, support for the underwater theory that we're getting next season. Maybe the map Doomsday, maybe that re references the entire map changing to gold uh, as we go into season three, which would just be epic, right? I don't think any of us had really thought that that's what the Doomsday device would do. So uh, I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on that one. And uh, I really like this theory. I can't wait for the update tomorrow. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure to touch that like button for me on your way out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And code the Camp and Rusher in the item shop. Let me know if you do. I appreciate it. Thanks for sticking around for the entire video. Talk soon. Goodbye.